Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Stratter 5. Stratter is a superior well log, borehole, and cross-section plotting software package. In this video, I will provide a brief introduction to Stratter's user interface. There are four types of windows in Stratter. Borehole views, map views, cross-section views, and data tables. The tabs at the top are color-coded by window type. By default, borehole view tabs are labeled with blue text. Borehole views show all of the graphical elements of your log. This is where you design and create your log layout. The page of a borehole view can be divided into three panes. The header pane, the footer pane, and the log pane. The header and footer panes typically contain information about the logs, such as scale bars and log titles, linked text like whole ID and northern easting information, and metafiles like a company logo. The log pane contains the actual logs. Map view tabs are labeled with red text. Map views show a top-down view of the well locations. Each map view can contain only one map, but each map can contain multiple wells and base layers. Each layer and the map itself can have different coordinate systems assigned to it. Base layers can be created from various image or vector files, such as TIFF, DXF, and shape files. Wells within a wells layer can be connected with a well selector line, which can then be used to generate a cross section. Cross section view tabs are labeled with green text. Cross section views show relationships between adjacent logs. These logs can be based off of interval data like lithology intervals, depth data like geophysical logs, or raster images such as scans of paper wireline logs. Wells are automatically connected with layers when using interval data. When using depth data or raster images, layer tops can be imported or manually created. You can reshape default layers or delete them and draw your own custom layers. As with borehole views, cross-section views can be divided into three panes. The header pane, the footer pane, which this view doesn't have, and the cross-section pane. For a cross-section view, the header and footer panes are likely to contain objects like well headers, map views, and legends. The cross-section pane contains the cross-section, as well as overlain logs and drawn objects. All of the logs, maps, and cross-sections are based on the data in the data tables. Data table tabs are labeled with black text. Each data table can contain data for multiple wells. The data in each table is linked via the whole ID column to create a complete picture of what's happening in each well. The three different views in Stratter utilize four managers that are open on the left side of the Stratter window by default. The view manager, the table manager, the object manager, and the property manager. All of these managers can be shown and hidden by clicking the View ribbon bar tab and checking or unchecking the box next to the manager name in the Managers section. The check mark next to the manager name indicates that it is currently showing. In Stratter, you can have multiple borehole, map, or cross-section views in one project. The View Manager lists each of the views in the project. You can click on the view name to switch to that view and you can click and drag to reorder the views. Next to the view name is an icon displaying what type of view it is, and a checkbox indicating the view visibility. You can click the X on a view tab, or uncheck the box next to the view name in the view manager to close the view. This removes the view tab from the top of the window, but the view is still visible in the view manager. You can check the checkbox in the View Manager to reopen the view. You can create a new view from the View Manager by right-clicking and clicking the New command for the view type you want to create. To delete a view, right-click on the View tab or the view name in the View Manager and click Delete. The Table Manager is like the View Manager, but for tables rather than views. It contains a list of all the tables in the project. 
In addition to hiding, showing, adding, or deleting tables as you can do for views in the View Manager, you can sort the tables in ascending or descending order by right-clicking in the Table Manager and clicking on the sort operation you wish to perform. When you select a view, all of the objects in that view are listed in the Object Manager. For the borehole and cross-section views, objects are grouped together according to which pane they are located in. So all of the objects in the Log pane are listed under Log Pane Objects. All of the objects in the Header pane are listed under Header Pane Objects. And all of the objects in the Footer pane are listed in the Footer pane Objects. To select an object, you can click on the object in the Borehole view, or you can click on the object in the Object Manager. After an object is selected, the properties for that object are shown in the Property Manager. Changing a property in the Property Manager immediately updates the view. For example, I can change the text color for the complex text log in this borehole view by selecting the complex text log, clicking the Label tab in the Property Manager, expanding the Font Properties section, and changing the foreground color to red. The text color of the log immediately updates. In addition to the tabs specifically for changing line, symbol, fill, and label properties, there is a Log tab where we can set the table and data columns being plotted in the log. View properties are displayed in the Property Manager after clicking on a view name in the View Manager, clicking off the side of the page, or clicking the View, Display, View Properties command. This is where you can set the whole ID of the well being displayed, change the depth properties and the scale properties, and set various other properties that affect the entire view. This concludes the video introduction for Strata 5's user interface. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.